coming in about that as well. This is a word coming in from Delhi police sources that have told CNN News 18 that no permission so far has been sought from them and they are not going to allow the, any sort of march or dharna towards BJP's headquarters. So this is a very crucial word that we have received from Delhi police sources. Anvit continues to stay with us over this development as well. Anvit, please tell us more about the word coming in from Delhi police sources since they have told that no sort, uh, uh, no sort of permission has been sought from them and how exactly this march is going to be conducted then? that the, uh, the Amadi party has chosen for protest which is the BJP headquarters it's a, a VIP area and uh, the central Delhi uh, mostly under section 144 of the CRPC which restricts uh, gathering of more than three people so police is keeping that also in mind the parliament and other uh, uh, government installations are close by and therefore no such large gathering is allowed without any uh, prior permission Amadi party that has not sought any such permission will be restricted from reaching out to that area and also because they plan to reach there in large number with all their leaders you know, in the solidarity march uh, to protest against the arrest of uh, uh, Bhiva Kumar as well as, uh, you know, previously uh, like Arvind Kejriwal and other leaders were arrested. So calling this a political talk. All right, Anvit, please stay with us. We have CNN News 18's Yash Goel joining us on the broadcast as well. Yash, a very good morning to you. Talking a little bit about the political dynamics that are being played around the national capital region. How exactly this particular case of Swati, Ma uh, Swati Maliwal's assault case is going to impact Amadmi Party's political dynamics because they are looking very uh, sure and very confident about nothing is going to go against them. Well, the BJP, what the BJP is trying to do as of now, they're trying to corner Aam Aadmi Party from each and every angle on this very issue. It's, and in fact, it's just not about the Aam Aadmi Party, but in fact about the entire INDI bloc. We have seen how the Bharati Janta Party leaders have come out and spoken about it, uh, starting from the BJP president, JP Nadda, to all the MPs. In fact, they are coming out and in fact, they are targeting the Aam Aadmi Party and they are saying they are actually pointing towards the duplicity of the Aam Aadmi Party because what they're saying is that earlier when something like this had happened, uh, like the case of wrestlers had come up, the Aam Aadmi Party was very quick to jump guns, in fact, at the BJP and say that why action is not being taken. And now, this time around, till now, we haven't seen anything against Vibhav Kumar from the Aam Aadmi Party, but what they are continuously doing is they are continuously defending him. Um, yesterday also when Arvind Kejriwal gave that very message of protest, today uh, at uh, the BJP headquarters, he only mentioned about how the Aam Aadmi Party is being crumbled, how different agencies are being used to target the Aam Aadmi Party, and, uh, but he said nothing about Vibhav's case. In fact, that is the point the BJP is trying to raise, What is uh, why uh, the Chief Minister is silent on this very issue, why he is not mm. talking about this very issue. Uh, right now, I am standing at the Aam Aadmi Party headquarters, from where all the action will begin. Uh, there are preparations which are done here at the Aam Aadmi Party office by the workers of uh, uh, this very party. In fact, they say that they will be marching towards the BJP headquarters, but police has made, uh, has started to make arrangements over here. You can see the barricades are being uh, started to being placed over here. Uh, the vehicles of police are here, the Vajravahan is here, and uh, like uh, colleagues were also mentioning that no permission was sought from the police by the Aam Aadmi Party. So as of now, no permission has been given to the party, uh, but what we are understanding standing at 12 p.m. around, uh, the Chief Minister will come here and first will address the workers and then they will start their march. Here we can see a lot of drama panning out because no permission has been granted and on multiple locations we have seen how Aam Aadmi Party workers have tried to move towards uh, Delhi headquarters and this time around why it is different because this time around Arvind Kejriwal will be leading from the front with all the top leaders, MLAs, MPs of the Aam Aadmi Party. Here uh, altercation could actually break out because because uh, um, uh, Arvind Kejriwal yesterday categorically said that uh, this is a fight which they will be taking to the BJP headquarters because they say that uh, why arrest uh, each one of us separately, just go, and, go ahead and arrest everyone at the same time. So since you have also mentioned that some sort of altercation is expected there, we can see the security has been beefed up outside of uh, the Aam Aadmi Party's headquarters as well. Yash, but quickly, if you could take us through if any of the leader has started coming up, if they are going to be huddling up at the headquarters or if they are going to meet at uh, Chief Minister's residence first. See, as of now, no big leaders have arrived over here, but the workers have started to come in some numbers. Uh, what we are expecting, once CM Kejriwal leaves from his residence, 
then only the leaders will start to arrive here. In fact, 12 is the time when uh, CM is expected to speak and um, inside the headquarters he will be addressing uh, the Aam uh, the Party workers and then they will be moving uh, towards the BJP headquarters. Hmm. Right, Yash, please stay with us. Anvit, coming back to you, uh, Yash has also mentioned it that BJP is not only trying to corner Amadmi party with this particular issue, but they are also trying to corner the entire INDIA block. What is interesting to see here is that none of the ally of Amadmi party, despite of showing an extreme coordination and bond between all of them, have come out and spoken in favour of Delhi Chief Minister. See, that certainly remains to be seen as what political developments take place. This issue since the beginning has been politicized by all the people in the opposition. And they've been calling it a political vendetta and political targeting of the Ahmadi party as well as the opposition for a long time now. But uh, as far as this case is concerned, uh, Arvind Kejriwal was previously arrested and other uh, member of the Ahmadi party, be it the Lika Gate scandal or, uh, you know, uh, other uh, scams that have been alleged against the Ahmadi party. Uh, many of their leaders stand arrested and in jail uh, recently when Arvind Kejriwal went came out on bail uh, for the campaigning even then he said that it was a political targeting and that all the leaders are being targeted that is the reason why Amadi party is today uh, planning to march towards the BJP headquarters and tell BJP in a uh, symbolic uh, march that you know they want to surrender all, all the leaders and uh, that all the rest should be made at once despite uh, other than this uh, uh, you know single and individual targeting but if you talk about the facts of the case uh, we are right now standing outside the CM residence uh, this uh, now officially is a crime of a scene of crime Police have visited this place with the prime uh, uh, with the victim, uh, which is Swati Maliwal. She has given an elaborate complaint. Also, uh, other than that, uh, we are expecting that now when Vivav Kumar, who is the prime accused in this case, as per the complaint of Swati Maliwal, he might also be brought here by the Delhi Police to corroborate the statement of Swati Maliwal. And as she has gone on to detail that how she was assaulted, how she was beaten, she has also said that her head was banged on the to the table, which is also mentioned in the remand note that the Delhi Police had uh, submitted in the court yesterday and therefore all these allegations will be uh, corroborated to confirm the sequence of event. The CCTV cameras that are installed, their footage will also be checked because there is also an allegation of CCTV footage tampering. That also the remand note mentions. So there are uh, several allegations and several angles that needed to be uh, probed and therefore we are expecting that uh, you know uh, to further uh, in this investigation of this case, uh, Delhi Police might also record the statement of everyone who was uh, either involved directly or indirectly be it the security guard standing outside when Swati Maliwal arrived here and from that point to the PCR call being made, the PCR call logs will also be checked, the PCR staff that had arrived there, their statement will also be checked. Also the uh, police station staff of civil lines that had, where Swati Maliwal had reached after the incident, their statement is also likely to be recorded in this case. Definitely. Anvit would also like your input over this particular allegation that Amadni party has actually levelled against Swati Maliwal, that she is being pressurised by BJP because of her involvement in other case and that she is threatened that uh, she will be chastised if that case is proven to be correct against her and hence she is speaking the language of the BJP. What is the word coming in from Swati Maliwal or the BJP on that particular matter if we do have any input on that at all? See, if we talk about the version coming in from Swati Malaval, she has mostly restricted herself to social media and she has not made any public statements. But uh, as far as this uh, premise is concerned, certainly the VVIP premise, because being the resident of uh, you know, CM uh, Arvind Kejriwal, and uh, the kind of allegations uh, his staff uh, or Bhiva Kumar's uh, defence counsel have levelled against uh, Swati Malaval is of trespassing and breaching the security, which uh, because she has alleged in her FIR that you know she had come to meet CM and she was initially allowed inside, but see the, there are many points in this if she, if she was breaching the security first of all she shouldn't have been allowed inside also the uh, police team or the security staff that is inside could have escorted her outside but mm. all this happened according to Swati Maliwal after the brutal assault so mm. there are many angles to it which I think at this stage police are investigating it is a preliminary stage of investigation and all the political allegations that are being coming in can be seen from a different print but investigation should be seen as what police is saying and what they have been doing it so far uh, many statements are yet to be recorded CCTV footage are yet to be obtained from the CM's office. Many things are going on. Uh, forensic devices, of uh, digital devices of Vivav Kumar have also been seized and have been sent for forensic examination. So in time to come, we'll see what these devices reveal and what do the statements of other people who are involved and who are party to this entire incident, what mm. they have to reveal. Right. 